With the right inspiration, you can create some pretty cool and funky origins. Sometimes people will go to the lengths of making massive origins that will change everything about the game and involved into something brand new. And sometimes they'll do something small, something little, but something enough that you can get a bit of an enjoyment out of the idea and already understand the theme behind it. In today's video, we're going to be going through the One Punch Man origin created by the Discord user known as Stinky from the Origins Discord server. This origin is for 1.17.1, also 1.17, so make sure to use it in either one of those versions of Minecraft, you want to play around this origin, it may or may not work in 1.16.5, I haven't tested it, I played this mainly on the 1.17 version of it, but going into it, this is a 3 impact origin, meaning it has a maximum amount of impact upon the game itself, running through the description, half human, half robot, being a disciple of Samata has made you smarter as a fighter and as a helper. But either way, let's roll right into the abilities. Moving into the first ability, we have the ability called Overheat. You will overheat if you use your abilities too much. There isn't too much when it comes down to this ability, basically speaking, the more often you use your actual ability, Abilities, the more you'll heat up, and when you meet your maximum heat, you'll just be unable to use your abilities whatsoever. There are no other consequences that comes with overheating yourself. Nothing at all, you just simply can't use your ability for a split second, then you can use it again, but then you'll be back at max heat, and then you can just use it a few seconds later. It's, it's a bit of a weird one. I personally think the overheating feature should have, like, affected you a lot more, aside from just disabling your ability for a split second before it cools back down enough that you can use it again. It should maybe temporarily disable your abilities, or maybe something else potentially as well, but I, I guess this is how it goes sometimes. Moving into your next ability though, you've got the machine gun. By holding your primary key, you will shoot a flurry of bullets. This pretty much just means you shoot a good collection of arrows. You can shoot it at a pretty fast rate, a lot faster than what you can ever shoot with a bow, an arrow, or even a crossbow when you have a million crossbows in your hotbar, but they're still very basic arrows. They don't have any form of power behind them. They're just basic arrows shot by, let's say, a basic bow or basic crossbow, an unenchanted one at that, so it really doesn't provide any bonus damage of any sort. It's just a flurry of arrows, I guess. You can use it at an excessive speed and excessive rate in order to, I don't know, hurt mobs that get too close to you and you've got nothing else to go. I don't know. Taking a rough guess by counting roughly how many arrows were count taken out in a single bar of this, basically, I think it's roughly around 45 arrows that you can shoot in a quick succession with this ability, but th that's as best as I guess I can get because some of the arrows disappear pretty quickly and I branched it off of a small segment of the actual bar itself. So, moving on. Moving on to the next ability, you've got Heavy. You sink one in water. Pretty Pretty sure you can understand this one. Like I, I, don't, I don't think it takes a genius to understand what this means. You literally just sink in water. It turns Minecraft into an ability where you swim in the water to it just basically acts like you're in the overworld when you're outside of water. You're just walking along land like it normally is, which does mean that you will need to make some staircases when you're in the ocean in order to actually get back out if you fall in. It could also be a massive detriment because you may actually drown while you're down there. So hey, it could be a bit of a double-sided sword maybe. I don't know. It makes it easier to traverse water, but at the same time, it could kill you quicker. Moving into the next ability, we've got Iron Body. You have as much armor points as you would have when you have Iron Armor on. In turn with that though, it does mean that you cannot put any other armor on whatsoever. So basically, you've got basic iron protection without any form of enchants possible whatsoever. You can't even put any armor on. You can't put leather, can't put chainmail, can't put gold, can't put diamond, can't put iron, can't put never right. It's all unavailable to you and you just simply have to deal with the fact that you've only got the protection provided by an iron set of armor without any form of the actual enchantment buffs whatsoever. But don't worry, you can still put an elytra on, so don't worry too much about that one. So you can still use your chest on for an elytra, but you just can't wear any armor whatsoever. It is completely and entirely disabled to you. But moving to the next ability, you got the awakening ability. Call some matter in when you are in a dire situation. This is your secondary ability, and I also definitely possibly butchered the name that I said there just beforehand, so apologies for that one. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite figure out how in the world this ability actually functions, so uh, I can't really tell you what it does. I don't exactly know what the dire situation is. All I can tell you is that it's an ability that it would be keyed to your secondary ability key, but it doesn't seem to function whatsoever. And yes, to the creator of it, I do have Fabric Taylor installed, so I don't know what's wrong here. Moving on to the next ability, you got Hydrophobia. You receive damage over time while in contact with water. Now, of course, as I said earlier, the other ability where you sink in water does help you travel a little bit faster or move a little bit quicker whilst going through long perms of water. But of course, according to this ability here, you take damage from water, so you'll possibly die while you're in there. Ultimately, I feel like that ability from earlier where you're heavier and actually sinked in water actually allows you to travel through the water a lot quicker than what you would normally when swimming as well as taking damage, as well as this damage could boost you up blocks in order to help you to traverse and climb up the little hills and mountains and oceans a lot quicker, helping you get out of the water far faster than what you would normally. So ultimately, I feel like whilst this is a disadvantage, the sinking in water ultimately becomes a nice advantage to help deal with the fact that you have hydrophobia. 
So overall, this is definitely a much smaller origin than what I would normally cover, which is kind of like just one of those things. But very occasionally, I do find these cool themed origins that I just want to cover for the sake of I want to cover it. And this one was a lot smaller than what most of my normal origins I cover are. So sorry about that if you want the longer videos. But hey, sometimes this is how it's going to go. Anyway, if you're watching this video right after it release, I will be live over on Twitch. So if you want to come join me after some questions or maybe some things along those lines, make sure to check me out. If I'm not live at the point in time or as many hours after the video drops, just go drop me a follow so you know next time that live because I'm doing a few nighttime streams for me, meaning that there'll be at times that you might possibly be able to watch. Either way, as always, a massive thank you to my channel members, especially my $25 member, Holly the Void, and my $10 member, Decept, and a massive update considering that coming up very later today as well. So, hey, look forward for a second video of me talking endlessly again. Either way, until next time, guys. Goodbye.